Oh, yes, indeed. He did sign that presidential executive order about eight days ago. Uh, and the executive order is to promote the application of science, technology, uh, in innovation, in engineering as well, to ensure that Nigerians who can do jobs here are uh, foreigners not take their jobs. But we have to ask, how is that going to be implemented? Joining us now to take a look at that is Mr. Muiwa Ibeon, who is the General Secretary, Association of Indigenous Construction Contractors of Nigeria. You're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Yeah, good morning, Marco. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How excited were you when you heard the signing of Executive Order Number no. 5? Uh, definitely very excited. Uh, it was being signed on the 5th of February. Mm -hmm. But I felt the federal government has actually given Nigerian a Valentine's gift. And that is why we had to discuss this today on Valentine's Day. Thank you. Today. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like the coincidence then. Oh, just wondering then, how do you think this will be implemented? Because some people believe that this executive order, some say it's a welcome development, mm -hmm. uh, like you. They believe it's a welcome development. Others say, but we already have the local content law. Why did he need to sign this executive order? Uh, the Nigerian and local content law of 2010 is actually a quite different in from the executive order 5. And you have to understand it from its perspective. The Local Content Act is restricted to the oil and gas industry. That is the development in oil and gas industry, which I personally also played a very vital role in it. And as that now this covers the entire sector of the economy, you know, ranging from oil and gas, ICT, telecommunications, uh, civil construction. So this is a bigger scope of what it was. I just felt the Nigerian Act is a test case. And this is actual implementation of the local content. Mm. But looking at how it works in local content, are you optimistic that you might be able to, I mean, we'll be able to extend implementation to all sectors of the economy? Definitely. Mm. What is the guarantee for that? Definitely. The guarantee is it has been successful in the local content act. We should look at the oil industry today. There's high level of participation of Nigerians in it. We see a lot of expatriate, Nigerian expatriate now coming back to Nigeria to operate. When I was to appear on this program yesterday, I had to circulate it on one of the social media, which some of my colleagues had. And some engineers across the world were telling me, if this has been implemented, they would be so glad to come back to Nigeria. Mm. And that is actually saying it is going to be successful because we have more than enough people to run it. Let's look at the chief provision of this executive order, which stipulates that you know, uh, foreign workers will be uh, essentially not be granted visas to enter the country to do some of the projects, work construction projects that uh, members of your association will now be able to do. Uh, when you look at that, what, what would you say to Nigerians who would ask whether we are now up to the task of building our own infrastructure in the country? Definitely we are up to the task. As you can see, Nigerians practicing in every part of the world. That is the evidence that we are up to the task. One. Then number two, it's not as if uh, foreigners are not allowed to come in, but as far as we have the competent expatriates, competent Nigerians that can handle the job, the foreigners shouldn't be allowed to come and take their well, jobs. Well, let's look at the, the current uh, Nigerian situation. We're currently taking out massive loans from the Chinese for the Chinese to bring in their workers to build our, our airports, our roads. We, Julius Berger, a German company, we, we, we like to use foreign firms to build our roads. In fact, our public officials, usually during campaign period, will brag about using uh, foreign contractors to build our, our uh, infrastructure. Now, in view of that, when you look at the major infrastructure, not just in Nigeria, but across the continent, being funded and built by the Chinese, have we developed the capacity locally to be able to look at it and say, look, we, we can actually build our airports, for example, at a world-class standard? Because Really, right now, there's no precedent for that. What do you have to say about that? Definitely. We've seen Nigerian practicing across Africa. I know of companies that have gone to Syria, gone, gone to Ghana, taking funds from UK banks and investing in those companies. That is capacity. They have the capacity, the only required funding. So we wouldn't mind these uh, Chinese or whatever coming, bringing in their funds. They are investors. Let them invest. But let us do our jobs. 